Hey, my name is Nick Karanambas, and in this video, we're going to be going through the new business profile and the settings available to you in your business profile. Once you've logged in, you'll be presented with your hub tab and you will navigate to your business profile. Once you've clicked on your business profile, you'll find yourself in the business settings section. And here there is an array of settings, all centralized to help you find all the settings you need for your business in one place as quickly and easily as possible. So to go through all of these widgets, you have your business details, your bank details, your communication preferences, receipt settings, tip settings, payment methods, card machine settings, your referral program, tax invoices that Yoko sends to you and the fees that your business is currently being charged. Let's start off on the left hand side here with business details. If you click on the business details, you are presented with the business details that are currently active for your account and the ability to edit your basic details, your address or your social media. So to edit your business details, you click on the edit button and this is where you can upload a logo. This logo applies to all the places in the business, your receipts, your invoices and everywhere else. Please note that changing these details may require veri verification. Not all the time, but sometimes. Here you can update your trading name, telephone number, email and that. And then you can edit your trading address. This will appear on your receipts and this is where you trade from. And then you can add any of your social media, Instagram, Facebook, or X, formerly Twitter. Then going back, you can edit your bank details here. Really simple and straightforward. Your communication preferences. This is a really great part of the, the business settings. You can choose to add a new recipient to get communication preferences. You can add a staff member or an email address and apply one of these types of communications, a sales report daily, weekly, or monthly, a tax invoice or stock alerts. If you've got stock alerts set up, you can also see who is currently receiving these notifications or communications and you can edit these people from here. You can untick or remove those people entirely from any notifications and you'll see they're gone. By default, you are added to the communication preferences and you are unable to be removed from communication preferences, but you can edit and turn them off or on. Nice and simple. Back to business settings now. We've got your receipt settings next. This is really simple. You get to preview your receipt and see what your customers will see. And then you can edit the receipt details. Choose if you want it to be a tax invoice or a receipt. You can put in your tagline, the footer, and choose to show your phone number or hide your phone number if you have a phone number added to your account. And as you can see, I don't have one, so I'm unable to display the phone number that I haven't added. And then if you want to edit your business details, we've given you a direct link straight from this page to the business details section. Then over to tip settings, we've simplified this area significantly. So your tips, you are able to add a tip at the point of checkout, or you can give the machine to your customer and they are able to add a tip. You can activate both or neither or e either of them. Then moving on to payment methods. These are payment methods that are used for record keeping purposes only. You always have card active and you always have payment link active and you can choose to activate or deactivate any of these for record keeping purposes. It's really that simple. Card machines is a great centralized place for you to add card machines to your account. If you've purchased a new one from some from Yoko or a secondhand machine from somebody else, you enter the serial number and confirm and there you go. Or you can view the card machines that you currently have. We've also provided you with the ability to add a nickname. Let's edit this one to be Nick's card machine and confirm that that is what the nickname now is. And you can see that it's changed everywhere. We show you the serial number. And if you'd like, you can remove the card machine from there. You can also buy a card machine here. Then we've got our referral program. It shows you how much you've earned in referrals. You can share your referral link with native sharing on desktop and mobile, copy your referral link or a QR code. And then we've got the tax invoices that Yoko has sent to you and you can open these up in a PDF or you can just peruse them here. And finally, the fees. 
Currently, we show you the fees you are being charged for in-person payments and online payments. These transaction fees include that, and they are shown to you local international or Amex, including EFT for online and debit or credit card. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll also notice that we have got the ability for you to ask for help in the bottom right hand corner. This is applicable in the business settings and the personal profile and personal settings section of the website. We also allow you to click out and get help, see our terms and conditions and view the platform status of Yoko. That's it for business settings. Trade well.